Vaccines are 95% effective. You've probably heard that statistic thrown around a lot, and it is true. New here at 10, though, we're taking a closer look at that other 5% where the shots are not providing the protection that patients had hoped. Here's investigative reporter Angie Racono. It is so nice to see you guys. Meet the Hensons. We did a Zoom interview to keep things safe. That's because Bob Henson had a transplant three and a half years ago. His doctor recently ran a test on his COVID antibodies. So he took the test and came out less than 1%. Less than 1%. Not good. Bob is also battling cancer. I take a chemo tablet for that, that problem. And I take suppression to keep the kidney. So I guess that's the reason why I had uh, less than 1% on uh, antibodies. New research reveals Bob Henson isn't alone. 46% of more than 600 transplant patients produced no COVID-19 antibodies, according to the Journal of the American Medical Association. Uh, transplant patients often don't get a good antibody response after vaccination, whether it's COVID or any other vaccine. Mm -hmm. Vaccines providing the protection people hope for was a recent topic on the morning briefing at the University of Kansas Hospital. How many patients are like that? I would argue that chemotherapy is kind of like that. Doctors are now discussing a third booster vaccine for transplant and immunocompromised patients. A recent study of 30 transplant patients showed a third booster helps. A third of those patients who didn't have antibodies developed them after that third shot. So it's something Bob Henson and his doctor are considering. In the meantime, he's taking precautions. I try to wear my mask as much as possible now, which for a while when I thought I was protected, I wasn't. Are you guys worried about the variant that is in Missouri right now? Well, that's one that's, one got, our, that's got our antennas up, you know, that Delta one, because it's so it, it seems to be so powerful mm -hmm. and it, it's, it's easy to catch it. Angie Bracono, KCTV 5 News.